Good evening. My name is Sandra Simon. I'm from the Jewish home San Francisco, and this is the story of everlasting love. On June 10th, 2012, beloved Bay Area metal guitarist Jeff Leppard and his wife Nikki were in a horrible motorcycle accident. Jeff lost his life, and Nikki, Nikki struggled and fought for hers. As Nikki began her long road to recovery, in fact, 11 months in a nursing, a nursing home, a group of friends, family, community members gathered together to help her deal with her grief and through the loss of her husband. We began hosting art workshops every Sunday afternoon and gathered together in the, in the art room of the nursing rehab hospital. After eight weeks of workshops filled with love, laughter, memories, tears, the workshops culminated in a Day of the Dead altar, an art installation in San Francisco's Dia de los Muertos art installation that happens every November 2nd on the actual Day of the Dead. And this would have been Jeff's 40th birthday. So we had this celebration and it was actually uh, a way for Nikki to um, have her memorial service. I then said to myself, now what? I personally saw the healing power, the power that art had, and I began this journey of everlasting love. It's a program that brings art to the community and inst institutions that gathers um, elders and staff member alike to create beauty. Our mission is twofold. Our primary purpose is to bring programs to the communities and programs that are person-centered, meaningful, and allow people to create together. The creation of everlasting love has also allowed me to experience firsthand the many ideas that we've learned in the Leadership Academy. That when a group of people gather together with a shared vision, shared passion, and a clear roadmap, impossibilities can become realities. The second part of Everlasting Love's mission is to have a place, an art place for the community in a quickly gentrifying area of San Francisco, the Mission District, where many, many elders and artists are being forced out of the neighborhood due to gentrification. This space allows people to come together and have workshops for our community as well. Well, we are well on our way. We have opened our doors. We've been accepted as a fiscally sponsored project of Fractured Atlas, which is a national arts endowment. We can accept grants, we can accept uh, donations, and we strive to create, we strive to inspire, and we strive to empower. Thank you.